Hey, baby. Who the hell is Oprah? That was the last time those words were ever spoken. Baby. Before you explain, I want you to listen so we're very clear on what you need to tell me. Hey, little dude's father from across the street. Man, I just saw Oprah today. You were right. That's a bad woman. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Baby, Oprah is a talk show host. You're supposed to be working two jobs and sleeping during the day. <laughs> exactly when do you have time and where do you go to meet this talk show host? I don't know her. I, I watch her. She's in Chicago. She's on every day. Look. Every day. See? OK. What's in the bag? I'm throwing out your makeup. You're doing what? Oprah said you don't have to paint your face for me. I love you just the way you are. Oprah doesn't know what I look like without my makeup. And neither does my father. Julius, baby, do you know what's in this bag? Rochelle is in this bag. See, here's Rochelle's lips, here's her eyelashes, her complexion, her cheeks, her fingernails. <sighs> Julius, I don't know what Oprah's saying. But she is giving out very dangerous information. Baby, there are certain things that men just don't need to know about women. Like everything. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to let you know you're good enough for me. Even if your face is inside this bag. Thank you. I appreciate that. Baby, you really want to do something for me? Anything. Stop watching, Oprah. That's how Oprah's audience turned from all men to all women. And that's how the message on our answer machine became. We're not home right now. Leave a message after the beat. Hey, Jerome. Hey, man, I, I was just. I um... know what you were doing. Just take the answer machine and get out. He still came back later to try and steal the TV.